Hello guys, welcome back. It's TGR, that's Game and Robbo. This is episode 7 of Welcome to Wrexham. Now just to give you a quick lowdown from the last episode, we beat Bolton Wanderers on penalties in the Football League Trophy North Final. We will be in the final final, which will be taking place in the 2nd of April against Peterborough. <clears throat> so we're looking forward to that. We could potentially win a trophy there. Also, top of the table by 16 points. We're, we're definitely going to be winning this league. 10 games to go. It will take something massive for us to drop off the radar big time. But a couple of days gone time, we will be facing Gateshead. But just before then, Crystal Palace have entered in a bid to try and buy Anthony Ford off us. I mean, he's 29 now, so we've got to start thinking about maybe... Maybe we need to start looking at a new replacement. So if they put a million pound bid in, they can have him. And they have. They put a million pound bid in. We'll accept it. He can go to Crystal Palace. I'm not going to step, step in his way at the end of the day. If he wants to uh, try and end his career on a high, then he can do so. Dan Goslin's back. Fletcher is back too. So Fletcher's going to go straight into the starting lineup against Gateshead with Palmer. I'm praying and hoping that we can get a good result and we can get through to the fifth round of the FA Trophy. And Elliot Lee makes it 1-0 for Wrexham. Come on, lad. Come on. Oh, we got we got this in the bag, surely. We've got it in the bag for sure. Uh, Biggins coming off. Malik's coming back into the team. And Fletcher and Palmer makes it 2-3-0. and three nil. Gateshead got a goal back, but Fletcher makes it 4. We're through to the next round of the FA Trophy. And looking at what teams have left. Oldham got knocked out by Eastley. Kingsland are through. Bromley beat Braintree. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens now because... Oh, Chesterfield won again. FA Trophy semi-final. Okay, so we're against Kings Lynn. Kings Lynn are, are the only team that's left who are not in a National League. Hull wants to buy Elliot Lee for 10 million. No way. You've got to be kidding me. 10 million. You're willing to pay that. Jeez Louise, that's a good defender for, for Wrexham for sure. Jesus Christ. Holdley, 28. 20% sell on fee. Then have him. Crystal Palace is buying Anthony Ford for a million pounds. Alright, how's the team looking? Uh, Elliot Lee needs a rest. So does Ollie Palmer. Ollie Palmer can go on the subs bench for this game. We can't really... Uh, we can put Flint. O'Connell, is it, that needs a rest? Yeah. McFadson. So Mendy can come in. And Elliot Lee... I'm not I'm not putting Elliot Lee off, I'm sorry, but he is the main driving force for our team. Biggins and Fletcher makes it 2-0 for Wrexham. Dead chuffed with that fantastic first half. We're gonna put Jordan Davis on for Elliot Lee now so he can rest for the rest of the game. And Young makes it 3-0. Come on, lads. This is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. I mean, at the moment, we're on 89 goals for the season for our goal difference. Hull City's going to put... Is Hull City going to do it? That is truly incredible. We're getting so much money coming into Wrexham at the moment. We don't need Ryan Reynolds' money. We're making our own money here. So we've got 11 million coming into the team. And, you know, we've got players coming in like Cafu from Nottingham Forest. We've got Marvin Ekpita, Ekpita coming in from Blackpool. He's doing a swap deal with Aaron Hayden. 
and <clears throat> Salmon Godos from Brentford who looks pretty good for who will look pretty good for Wrexham and the money that we got there we've got we've got plenty of money to when when the new season comes into play we've got plenty of money to look at and think what do we need to improve on Oli Palmer 97% he can come straight back into the team uh, O'Connell can come back in now as well other than that we're happy with that <clears throat> Boreham Wood hosting Wrexham oh for Christ's sake Biggins <coughs> get in Elliot Lee 1-0 not a fantastic not a fantastic game so far Malik's coming on for Ashley Fletcher Marsh makes it 1-1 for Boreham Wood and we're going to drop two points against Boreham Wood we've got a game in hand but we're 11 points clear of Chesterfield I mean we've got eight games left I mean what did Biggins do to get straight red in 18 minutes I made no I'm going to challenge that it says made a dangerous challenge but it it might have not been a dangerous challenge and plus we need Biggins they dismiss it Bolton Wanderers wants to sign Malik Uh, Victor Aid Boy Joe. I was looking at him before. But I don't know. I don't know. Joe Haig. Right, Gethin Jones. His pace isn't good enough for for the type of play that we play. Give me a striker. Give me a striker because I mean I don't know if we will keep both Cullen or Fletcher. I think one of them might have to go. And at the moment it is looking like it's going to have to be Cullen because he, he just isn't doing it for us. Away against Halifax but we need the three points. Get in Elliot Lee. 35 goals this season. Oh, for Christ's sake. We're not dipping our form now. This is not the time to be having our form taking a dip. Seven games to go. 21 points available. And we are 12 points clear. Portsmouth made an offer. Shocking. £2.9 million bid. £4 million, 10% signing on fee. And he's yours. Bottom Wanderer is going to give me their striker. No minimum fee release clause. You can sod right off. This is a must win game. We need to beat Chesterfield. Ollie Palmer's fitness is shocking. Right. Pray and hope that the guys get it done against Chesterfield. Palmer's goal was offside. Get in, Fletcher. And Young makes it two. We are not going to lose this title race. Malik's coming on for Dan Goslin. Get in, Elliot Lee. We've we've won the we've won this title race now. We've won it. We've got promotion. We're promoted. Finally, finally, six games to go. Six games to go. We've finally been promoted from the English National League. And now 
now is all about in the last six games capturing the title I mean all we need is two wins and it's over mathematically it'll be over if we win our next game but we'll see Portsmouth are offering four million pounds for Malik but we're either going to get four million pounds for Malik oh dear oh well if that's the case if that's the case I am not letting him go for 2.9 million pounds sod right off no way ain't gonna happen he can go to Portsmouth <clears throat> all because Victor wants to have the minimum fee release clause of a million pounds that is peanuts for most teams now begins resumes like training Elliot Lee his fitness levels a bit worrying but <clears throat> oh shut up Bromley no way no chuffing way come off it Malik's coming on for Dan Goslin come on Wrexham get in Palmer fuck no way no chuffing way I mean I was look that's left the door open for Chesterfield and Torquay drew with Chesterfield come on 14 points clear five games to go 15 points available you just can't write it you cannot write this at all Peterborough oh this is the final isn't it Where is our next game? <clears throat> oh, it's all over. We've won the league. We've won the league. Chesterfield couldn't do it. They couldn't hack it. They cannot catch up with us. It is impossible now. They cannot do it. The fans, the Wrexham fans are singing my name because we finally are going to win the English National League trophy. And Crystal Palace wants Kyle Norton now. We bought him for 800,000. You think I'm really going to let you underpay me that much? 2 million. Exeter City want Andy Cannon. To be fair, he's been worse than a bit player. I haven't used him at all. Ah, Sam Noom's not. Dimitri Mitchell. Right, um. Twenty five per cent. 800,000 right now we've got to start thinking about the final Biggins is back Austin comes off Goslin's on the bench Ben Tozer is back this is what we need we need Ben Tozer I think we're ready I think we are ready to see if we can do this K 
can we win the Football League trophy? Come on, Elliot Lee. Oh, get in, Fletcher, son. Get in. Right, Luke Young's coming off. Dan Goslin's coming on. No! Oh, Palmer's injured. Cullen, you've got to do something, lad. Cullen! He's done it! He's broken his deadlock! What a time to do it! What a game to do it! The Football League trophy is ours! Come on! Oh my God, that is amazing. 2005 was the last time we'd lifted this trophy. 18 years. It has taken us 18 years to pick that trophy up once again. It's fitting that we're, that we're getting promoted from the English National League. It is fitting that we're getting promoted from here. And it's fitting that we won the English Football League. Oh my God, that is incredible absolutely incredible i'll tell you what we've got a really busy month of april ahead of us you know free league games the fa trophy semi-final against kings lynn then two more league games and maybe one more game in the fa trophy but guys if you have liked this episode please make sure that you do smash a like on the video subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell too if you want to see the other episodes, please click on that video link up there now. It will take you to the playlist. But guys, thank you for your love and support. And I look forward to seeing each and every one of you. The next video that we have on my channel here at TGR, that's Gaming Robbo.